Today I'm going to be showing you how to use module scripts in Roblox. So what is a module script? Well you've probably seen it quite a lot. When you insert a blank module script you get this. And essentially what it is is it's just a table that gets returned. But what does return mean? Well normal scripts when you start the game they start running immediately. Server scripts for example whenever the server is created those scripts will start executing, so any code in them will run immediately. Same goes with local scripts, although the only difference there is that they don't run on the server, they run on the client, so on a player's computer or device when they join the game. However, a module script doesn't run straight away. It only runs, well, runs, when it's required. And that actually means it's being run inside another script. So the code that you write in a module script will only be run in either a script or a local script, depending on where it's required from. So you can think of it as like a temporary storage, okay? You're writing some code that isn't going to execute when the, when the game uh, starts. It's only going to execute when we call it from another script. And then technically, it will be running inside that script. So let me give you an example here. This module is currently empty because it's just an empty table. But what we usually do is we insert functions in here which we want to call at a later time. For example, if I was to create a function called uh, delete base plate, okay, what I'd do is I would say module dot delete base plate equals function like this, okay? And then I would just have some code that would delete the base plate. Shout out to the AI code assist there for inserting that for me and if I wanted to call this function well I would have to call it from another script because module scripts do not run by themselves by their own accord they have to be called from within a script or a local script so let's just get rid of this code from my other video how do we run the delete base plate function from my script well firstly you have to get the module script so we'll create a variable Called module script and we'll say script dot parent wait for child module script now this isn't it because we have only got a reference to the object this is merely just a reference to the properties of this module script we haven't been able to extract the function out of this module script so how do we do that well we need to get this table within our module that gets returned because delete base plate is a function within our module here, because I've said module dot delete base plate, that means that delete base plate is within our module table. And this module table gets returned by our module script. And what that means is whenever we get the module and we use a specific function on that module, it's going to return this table. So what is that specific function? Well, that specific function is called require. And that just means give us what gets returned by this module, okay? So rather than this being a reference to the module script instance itself, this becomes a reference to whatever gets returned by that module, which in this case is this table, which contains our function. So require lets you get the contents of the module. And then, because this is now a reference to the contents of that table within our module, we can say, dot and you see that it starts to auto complete the delete base plate and so now we've just called our module script delete base plate function from outside of the module however because we've required the module into our script you can think of the module as just an extension of our script here it's giving us access to the functionality of the module but the functions themselves haven't actually been declared within this script but that's okay because we have a reference to them so you can think of the code inside this module as actually running inside our script when we call the function. If there's an error in our module, it's going to cause an error in our script. So that's it basically. If we were to run this, this, uh, this game, you can see the base plate gets destroyed. Not because the module script is running straight away. If I was to disable our normal script and click on run, the base plate would remain there because like I said, the module script doesn't run when the game starts. It only runs when it gets required. Well, I say that the, the functions themselves aren't running when we require the module. They only are running when we call the functions and that's what we're doing here. So 
let's just re-enable our script. And now that I've shown you how a module works, how can you use other people's modules? Because the great thing about module scripts is it allows us to use code written by other people rather easily. Because when modules are created, they're created in a way that they're designed to be easily used by other scripters. You don't have to have thousands of lines of code. You can just insert a module and use the specific functions where you want to. So let me give you some examples of modules that I commonly use. Okay, here's the profile service from Lolaris, and this is useful for data storage. And it just handles all of the different edge cases that you might encounter with data stores. Things like session locking. What if somebody is in a game with their, with their data store open and someone tries to access it from another server and tries to overwrite it? These are sort of issues that you will encounter if you're working on data stores. But luckily, Lolaris came up with a massive module which handles all of this stuff for us. So why invent the wheel when someone else has already done it? So all I'd need to do is just require script, wait for child, profile service, set that as a variable like this, and then you have access to all of these different functions and properties of the profile service. For example, I would then want to get a profile store, which you know I could say profile service dot get profile store, and I'd give the name of my data store. I could give the template of my data store, and then I'm, I'm good to go. I have access to all of the functions like load profile, which would load somebody's data um, that I would need in order to make my data stores work. Okay, and that's just one data store module. There's loads of data store modules out there, but you will find lots of modules on Roblox created by other users. And all you need to do to use them is just require them. And as soon as you've required them, you'll probably then find some documentation for that module, which shows you all of the different functions that you can call, all of the different properties or uh, that, that, that you can access from that module. So very, very useful. So that is how module scripts work, how you can have your own functions in module scripts and how you can call them at a specific time. So if you found it useful, uh, please leave a like, please subscribe, uh, let me know if there's any other videos which you'd like to see and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.